heavy when I bring the heat They say I'm underrated on YouTube and in the inner streets 50 countries feeling me, following me and liking me Watching my every move, that's why they even like to write to me Is the air on in here? It's off now. It's off now? Yeah, just turn it off. Listen, I can't afford to pay the air conditioning of 130,000 square feet when we have no business coming in. That's why we're building the auction barn. Let's walk down through here. You can see what, what the, uh, so we're breaking down the, the Lowe's pallets, right? So we have pallets of fans, fans, air compressors, chop saws, tools, toolboxes. You can see chop saws over here, garage, organizers, dollies. We just, anything they sell at Lowe's, just about we can get in these pallets. And this is our wall of smalls, right? So when we have the auction, we're gonna auction off all tools on this side, furniture on that side, and then pallets way down there on the end though. So I think I can hold, show down here, Paul. I think I can hold about 200 to 300 pallets in that area here. It's about a 20,000 square foot space and we're building the auction right in here. So let's go down the, to the, the wall. You can. Man, I gotta tell you, you advertise things like this in an auction, you're gonna get hundreds and hundreds of people to show up, if not thousands. Because how many contractors are out there? How many people are out there? How many remodelers are out there? Especially in Florida? Because we just had the hurricane. What was the name of the hurricane? Milton. Hurricane Milton just came through, wrecked a lot of things. You know, people are looking for tools. People are looking to, you know, I go to Home Depot. I went to Home Depot this morning and it was mobbed. It was mobbed on a Tuesday morning. That's ridiculous. You know, we can, su we can supply all the tools anybody needs. We, here we got grills, we got mowers. We got everything anybody would want in tools. And once we open this auction barn, I can move more and more loads, more and more loads of loads and just blow it out to the community and move on. Because I've been selling loads by the pallet to thousands of different people. And they're making money off all those pallets. When I break the pallets down, I make way more money myself. But I had no route. I do some retail in one of my bin stores with tools, which it does pretty good. Um, other than that, I, I just sit on thousands of tools. So the auction is my way to start hammering out tool loads. So when the hurricane came through here, listen, in a normal scenario in this 130,000 square foot space, we have a couple roof leaks, right? They, you know, we just manage them by putting buckets underneath and we really don't mind. But when a hurricane comes through with a hundred mile an hour winds and the rain is going sideways and you have 26 air conditioning units on the roof, the water finds a way to get into your store. And we must have had, I think we lost over 450 ceiling tiles in this building because of the hurricane. That put us back a week on the auction house, on the auction barn, because we had to redo this whole space again. You know, we, we spent three days mopping up the floor, getting everything cleaned up. And you can see, look at all the, the, the ceiling damage that we had. I mean, imagine walking in after, you go leave one night and everything's perfect. And then you come back in the next morning and this is what you find. And you find water everywhere. You can see here, this is where a leak was on the floor. A leak was right here. It just dried up. We didn't mop this one up, but it's just, it did so much damage to our place. It's insane. It's ridiculous. It's, it's hard to bounce back. It's, it's hard to walk in and fathom that. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can sit here and complain about it, or you can just fix it and move on. And that's what we're doing. Today, we got guys fixing the ceiling, getting the auction barn back in shape. We got, we're processing pallets, we're moving forward, we're trying to get back on track and making some money. The next good thing that happened to us here at the warehouse, when you have 130,000 square feet, you have to find people that are gonna help you share the space. I, I put ads all over Facebook Marketplace, I, I try to get people in here and I finally found someone to come in and share the space. Now I have a guy that deals in restaurant equipment, you can see all the restaurant equipment, refrigerators, stoves, everything, pizza ovens, that's his biggest category that he sells. You know, but what he also, if you look over here, these crates, right, he deals in four different categories, restaurant equipment, golf carts, mini excavators, and vending machines. And so these crates are direct from China. So he orders container loads from China, and I don't even know what's in them. He hasn't popped them open for me yet, but he's using us as storage. You can see here, these are refrigerators, ice machines. He uses us for storage, and he brought in, I don't even know how much, I mean, $500,000 worth of merchandise in this, that he's storing here. So now whenever he, he just uses us as an outlet for storage. So when he sells one of these items, he comes, picks it up, takes it away. So they're never here. It's just a little bit of income for us to help offset the rent of this huge space. 
So if you never bought a Lowe's load, this is exactly what it looks like. You're gonna get 26, 24 to 26 pallets jammed into a truck filled with returns from Lowe's. And I've always say that, Return, you know, you never know why somebody returns something. They, they might not have used it, changed their mind. They might have used it one time and brought it back. You know, a lot of people do that. Or it actually might be damaged. So what I always say the mix is, is 25% new, 50% used, then 25% of it's bad. And that's where you need somebody like Charles that can fix the bad things, save all the parts, mix the parts together so you can refurbish the items that you're getting in. And then you can extend your dollar. So you can see that we, these are the pallets. We get these high piece count pallets that are just brown box, just filled with stuff. You never know what's in them. Uh, you know, like this pallet here, we're selling for $300. We do sell a lot by the pallet, but I, I'm really thinking about start not doing any more pallet sales because there's just so much value in them that if you can find a process to move all the parts and pieces in there, then you can maximize your profit here. Oh, look at this. Let's get ready for Christmas time. You know, after you get a lot of stuff after the seasons, like after it gets hot, you get a lot of air conditioners in. After the summer, you get a lot of mowers in. You know, after Christmas, you get a lot of Christmas trees in. But all that stuff sells. All that stuff is sellable. And it's all good merchandise. It's all quality merchandise. You know, look at these. These are the ones that are, that are really beneficial. You know, you could, you buy these pallets, you buy these truckloads. I believe the going rate for the truckload right now is like $4,200. And plus shipping, and they control the shipping. So they kind of get you, they kind of get you on the shipping. You know, you're paying $500, $600 more than the normal shipping rate anywhere but because they control the shipping. So some of the pallets come in over my head, six foot tall. Some of them actually come in small. You will get a few pallets that don't have the right value on it, but when you do the math, you know, a pallet like this is, you know, 4X the price you're paying. A pallet like this is just 1X, you know, so you're not making money on this, but you definitely make it up on the bigger pallets, on the, on the tools, on the weed whackers, on the chainsaws, you know, on the table saws, on the chop saws, the refrigerator, like these refrigerators right here, these refrigerators are like $700. They're the wine refrigerators they sell at Lowe's. You know, so if those are, those we get about 60 to 70% working. Uh, you know, I never thought these water things were sell, but everybody's buying these water things. I can sell the heck out of the water things, but you gotta have a place to sell the individual items. If you can't sell the individual items, you're gonna be stuck. This is the biggest thing that you're stuck with, is you're stuck with vanities, right? Nobody buys vanity pallets because they have a high rate of being broken, right? About 50% of the time, something's broken. Either the base is broken or the top is broken. So for a long time, we just would sell whole truckloads of vanities to people, to a buyer, and we'd lose our butt on the vanity pallets. You know, we'd sell a whole truckload for three grand or something like that, $2,500. And then he would go through and fix them and put them together and make money off them. So I said, hey, now that I have the big warehouse, why don't we do that ourselves? So we now created a vanity room where what we do is our strategy is we put, a, a, put an ad on Marketplace and then we advertise, we promote it for $7 a day. It gets me hundreds and hundreds of Facebook messages every day. And you know, of that, I might get 10, 15 people a day coming in, looking at my vanities and shopping my vanities. Once again, this is our vanity room. You know, so we take all the vanities off the pallets. We save the tops. You can see here we have excess tops, right? Because a lot of the bases are broken, but we save tops because you find vanities with tops broken. Like this one was too nice. This one, the top was broken on, but it's a super nice vanity. We try to sell them 50% of Lowe's. So this one right here is $1,200 at Lowe's, right? Look at this is a beautiful vanity. You know, it's got the slow closing drawers. It's just a really nice piece. So this one we're selling for $600. I might sell, I would probably take a hundred bucks off because there is a couple dings right here, but you get 30 inch, 36 inch. You know what sells the best? The big ones. The great, great big ones. You know, anything 72 inch, Man, I'm telling you, I get more messages about large vanities, double sink vanities than anything. You know, this, look at this beautiful, this one right here is a beautiful 60 inch vanity. This is super nice, no cracks and perfect, perfect condition. You know, so that's a good one there. Um, vanities, I, I never dreamed that they sell so well. Put the ad on, promote it, and start selling vanities. So that is a Lowe's truckload, a general merchandise, full truckload, priced at 42.50 plus delivery, 
You know, you get so many good things in there. Break down the pallets, find the value, sell the merchandise. I'm telling you, you're, they're, they're, they are money makers. If you're interested in a Lowe's truckload, please reach out to me. I can set it up for you. You know, Lowe's is one of the best pallet deals that I have. It's close to me. It, it, uh, they only ship down the road for me, which is really convenient for shipping. But then you can also get Home Depot. Home Depot comes out of Georgia and Indiana. You know, tools, tools, tools. Anytime you advertise tools, people love tools. It's one of the best thing to sell. I think, I think guns, tools, air conditioners, my favorite things to sell. So if you're interested in a Lowe's truckload, my email's down below, tvweedeal at yahoo.com. Reach out to me. I'll set it up for you. Lowe's truckloads, they are money makers.